All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the Field World 4K. The Field World 4K has a histogram, peak and filter, false color, exposure, grids, freeze frame, ratio, marker, zoom in function, pixel, pixel, check field, image flip, and anamorphic mode for a whopping $180. Somebody wanted to know if I was gonna get a monitor with a pocket 4K and this right here is the monitor I'm gonna be using. Now I'm gonna be doing a full review later on. I have to use it a lot more, but I just kinda wanna show you why I got this monitor for the pocket 4K. Now if you watch my pros and cons on the pocket 4K, one of them is the zoom and focus peaking. I did not like it, it just was not enough. So on top of the monitor, there are two custom functions you can set. I have mine set for zoom, which I'm gonna do, do right now. So it's a four times, a nine times, a 16 times to help you focus assist. On top of that, if that's not enough, you can also turn on focus assist to help you focus. See if we can focus the X-T3 back there. Get out of it and boom, you got perfect freaking focus. All right, so that's really one of the main reasons I have this monitor because A, it's cheap and it has zoom function and focus assist, it has false color and it has an anamorphic mode. The only problem I have with it is that the battery only takes Sony batteries. Uh, it was stupid because in the listing it says Canon as well and the manual it thought it was gonna take Canon LPE6s. So I'm probably gonna end up having to bring another set of charger for the Sony batteries, which is a bummer, but um, you know, that's not really a big deal. Maybe I can find an adapter or whatnot. So the second con I got for the Pocket 4K is the screen on it, which is not bright enough. So how do you solve that? You solve that with a sun hood, which you can literally just snap on top of this thing really quick. I mean, this is kind of like a pro and a con at the same time, how easy this thing snaps on there. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera so you can see what that looks like. That's the sun hood that you can attach really easily and you can remove really easily. And like I said, it's a pro and a con. And this is actually Velcro too. If you wanna just remove the Velcro, you can Velcro it out. But you can just snap it in and out on the actual monitor. If you guys want me to make another video about it just with the Pocket 4K, I can do that. But for now, I just wanted you guys to see what I got. All right, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys later.